It's over here, y'all. Big sticks, big sticks, big sticks, big sticks. <laughs> Draco. So, she make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She oh. make it. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Tori, AKA Golden Rose. How y'all doing? Whew, welcome back, y'all. How you guys doing mentally, spiritually, and physically? Guys, I'm just so happy that you guys are here and to watch my beautiful face on your screen. <laughs> so today, you read the title right, we're gonna be talking about sea salt soaks slash sprays slash mist on your two week old starter locks or if you have, if your locks are more mature. This video is really for people who have locks, of course, but starter locks, if you're, you know, interested in doing the salt water on your locks. I did it. So if you guys wanna see my results and what happened and what I did to get my hair, looking like this and locking just a tad bit more quicker. I'm gonna show you guys right here. Bow. So let's just get into it. Um, I started locking my hair on July 9th. I locked my hair July 9th and that was a Friday and today is July 22nd. So my lock two week anniversary would be tomorrow. Um, I'm actually really excited. <laughs> Two weeks went by so quick, y'all. But I decided to do this sea salt soak on my hair because I'm just like, oh, I see a lot of people doing it, but it's on mature hair. I've been doing a lot of research on it and I noticed that a lot of people who have locked, if they surf or they go to the beach, that's how they get their hair to lock faster. The salt water, for some reason, locks your hair a lot faster. You ever notice when you get inside, you know, the ocean water or inside regular pool water, you had to make sure black girls, we did not get our hair inside the pool, like none of that because or the water because we did not want the water to mess up our hair and when i used to get my hair um my mom used to do my hair and she used to you know detangle it and comb it and stuff and say you know i live in florida so i'm all, i'm always by the beaches and i will go to the beach don't get your hair wet don't put your head in that water because if i did my hair nine out of ten will be tangly and frizzy or the braids i just got freshly done as soon as i get inside the beach water it's gonna frizz up or it's gonna just look frizzy and like wow Wow, you just got your hair done and girl it's frizzy already so yeah that's what you want when you have locks you want your hair to be you want your hair to frizz you want your hair to tangle you want your hair to you know when you see frizz that means the tangling process is going to start from my research and from my what i'm dealing with right now this is my hair before i did the sea salt soak slash spritz slash spray <laughs> i just put it in a mist bottle like this so and I took me some pink Himalayan salt. So this is what my hair looked like before. <laughs> um, just like that. I honestly just took some pink Himalayan salt and I got this pink Himalayan salt for $3.99 at my local Ross. Girl, and it had the big thing for $3.99, come on. Get at it. So I got me some pink Himalayan salt, got me a little mist bottle. If you guys can see the mist. And I literally just missed my hair like that. I missed my hair and then I, I got it kind of soaked, like as if I would have just dunked my head inside the sea water and took my head out. So I did that and then I take a towel and I'll scrunch it up. I'll take a towel and I'll just, oof and then I'll spray it again. Make sure you do not get it on your scalp because it will irritate. Salt is meant to dry out. So you do not want your hair to get dried out. Mm -mm. No. No ma'am. We don't care. So I did that about twice. I let the salt, just so it's not dripping all over the place. You want your hair to be kind of soaked, kind of wet, kind of moist. So I just made sure that my hair basically just took in the salt, the salt soap, the salt and water mixture. Just made sure the salt water is in my hair and I just let it be, I let it sit for a good 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. After 30 to 45 minutes, I went inside the shower and I just rinsed my hair. I did not touch it. I didn't do, no. I let the water, I made sure it rinsed off. You know, if anything was on my scalp, I tried not to spray it on my scalp. I just let my hair rinse. Just do, just like, what? like that. <laughs> and the, this is the shower head, I just do this. 
let the water just get on my hair, push the water out, and then I just let my hair air dry. And this is how it looked after. As you guys can see, it was a big difference. It was a big, big change, a huge change. And one thing I noticed when I did do it, as I put the salt water in and I started um, put doing my hair like this through my lock, I started to feel a texture difference. Like it was a total different texture. Like I went from being able, my, my twist feeling kind of silky to kind of rough, kind of like a, a different texture. Not even rough, but it's a different type of texture. Yeah, do it. It didn't do anything bad to mine. I feel like if you have twists, this would be okay for you to do and okay for you to use. I feel like if you have coils, just be careful or just wait till your, your coils just like, you know, toughen up a little bit. I wouldn't recommend you doing it with coils because if you do it with coils, I feel like it might come loose. It depends on your preference. Do it if you wanna do it, don't if you don't. But I feel like with twists, you, you should be all right. You may have like those ends that may come loose. But all you do is just twist them back up. I haven't seen any any big difference in my twists coming loose. I haven't had any of my twists unravel. Yet again, I do have 4A slash 4B slash, I don't have 4C, 4A, 4B hair. <laughs> but um, in the back, I do have a looser curl, curl. But I feel like, no, 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 I can't even say I don't have 4C because I feel like I have 4C in the front. I ain't gonna lie, I have a little mixture of 4C. So 4A, 4B, 4Z, C, I mean, eh. <laughs> it's so many. But I feel like I have 4A, 4B, and 4C hair all up in here so you should be good if your hair is a looser texture i feel like you can still get away with it just be careful and be gentle with your hair when you're rinsing it out so you don't mess up anything you don't want to just you're not washing your scalp you're spraying the sea salt on there you're getting the salt mixture in your hair and you're rinsing it out you're barely touching it the only time you're touching it is to like you know squish squish it out make sure you got inside the twist and then that's it that's all <laughs> don't do nothing else honestly i like how as you guys can see girl it's a lot more frizz it is a lot more a lot more frizz girl like we're way more frizzier than where we were last last two weeks two weeks ago we're way different way more frizzier way more um ganglier and how i know that this method actually works is because i was considering splitting one into two but as i started to feel these i was like nah it's good we, we straight it just won't get done you okay like especially the ones in the back but I'm gonna show you guys up close of how my hair is coming along. Not so, so I just wanna show you how, as you can see, the ones in the back are looking. That's, those are the ones in the nape area. The ones in the front, this is edge control. Don't worry, I'm gonna wipe this out, y'all. Um, This is just one lock. This is how, the sea salt mist does your hair and it's 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 i feel the difference it's it's locking a little bit faster put a little speed to it this is a middle one gonna show you guys on this side Like, y'all, get into it, so. And the frizz does not bother me. I actually like the frizz. My hair looks a lot more puffier and more fuller, so I do not mind the frizz. I feel like if you don't really like frizz, I don't think you should do it. But let again, with locks, you're gonna have frizz regardless. It's up to you. Me, I love it. I love the results that it got me so far. And will I do it again? Yes, just not right now because I'll probably do it more towards, you know, end of the month end of the month like towards my um, one month anniversary of my hair depending on if i do need a um depending on if i do need a retwist or anything i doubt i do a retwist but i'm gonna just you know see what the next two weeks has in store for me and it's good i'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again Stick with side of, and I might go to the beach. I've been wanting to go to the beach, so I might do it quicker, like sooner than I thought. So, 
I might do it sooner than I thought. Go to the beach and stick my whole head in the water. Like, actually get inside the water. So, <laughs> so thank you guys for watching my video. I will keep you guys updated on my next anniversary. It's probably in two more weeks. And yes, I'm definitely going to have these videos out to you guys. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Why are you not subscribed yet? Hello? Why, why are you not subscribed? Like... Why are you not liking? Why are you not commenting? I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you guys on my next YouTube video. Peace. Draco. So, she make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it